Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to do fluting with the Stanley 45. A fluting cutter is a little bit different from the standard range of cutters on the 45 in that it's centred over the middle of the main stock skate and so there's this large notch out of the side of the blade. And it gets installed in exactly the same way. The tiny little notch for adjustment purposes goes over the pin on the adjustment mechanism and it's tightened down by the butterfly nut. And we just do that loosely to begin with. We set the depth so we've got just a little bit of the blade exposed. Tighten it up and if I show you from underneath you can see how the cutter is centered on the, the bottom of the skate. So when we position the plane and the work we need to centre the skate over the line which is going to be the centre line for the flute. In most cases we'll be using a fence that goes in on the bottom holes, tighten down the main fence and if you've got adjustable fence you can dial in the exact position for the cutter and then it's just a case of starting the plane and pushing through the work. Now that's barely scored it so we'll need to advance the blade just a little bit more. You can set it deeper and just hog out uh, really quickly but the chances are you'll get tear out and ragged edges. It's better off just to set it quite lightly and just take a few more passes. As some of you will know that this is a piece of oak, you can see the flex in there, the medullary rays. So this is quite hard material, but it's cutting really well and starting to produce the, uh, the flute. There are different techniques, you can either start at the one end and go all the way through, or start at the far end and gradually work your way back. And you can see how this nice flute is developing. To set the correct depth for your flute, use the depth stop on the front of the plane. Just dial it in so that the distance between the bottom of the middle of the cutter and the base of the depth stop is your finished depth. Then continue to plane away until the plane stops cutting. Got a lovely consistent depth there on the flute. If you decide you want to go a little bit deeper and create it a little bit wider, just raise the stop a bit. Fluting with a Stanley 45, a piece of cake. Let me show you how I lay out for three equally spaced flutes across what might be the side of a leg. I'll just use this piece of scrap to demonstrate. I'm going to lay out for, first of all, a chamfer on each of the edges. Then I want to find the centre. Marking the centre line, and obviously you could do this with dividers or with a ruler. Take the, uh, the fluting blade you're going to use, centre it on the centre line, mark the width, 
and then you want to put another one in between the extreme width and the chamfer line. So that's again splitting this distance here. And we can either do that by eye or again measuring it. Same again on this side. Then pop the fluting blade into the plane. Now we need to set the fence. Now clearly we're going to have to raise the work up off the bench a bit because the fence is going to touch the bench before we actually get to full depth. If you're working on a square leg you probably won't have that problem. But it's easy enough just to put something underneath it. Now we'll set the fence so that the centre of the skate, which should also be the centre of the fluting cutter, is on our centre line. That's good. Then we can continue to cut the centre flute. until you get to the depth that you want. You can set a depth stop or you can just go by eye. So with the centre one done, you can now adjust the fence and centre again the skate on the next line out. Once that's completed, we keep the fence in the same position. We can rotate the work and then work in the opposite direction. Just test whether it's going to dig in too much. And that is causing quite a bit of tear out, so what we'll do, <clears throat> now we've established where it is, we can flip the work back round. So now we're set up on the other side, all tightened up. And in very little time we've got our three flutes down the middle and then we can put the chamfers on the edges. Sandpaper wrapped around a dowel rod will make sanding out the flutes, if there's a little bit of tear out in there, a lot easier. I started off with a scrap piece of wood just to demonstrate this, and so I haven't got the, the best of surfaces on it.
So I don't think that's bad for five minutes work. Didn't even check the edges for straight or the top for flat. A lot quicker than getting a router out. 